Hello viewers, uh, welcome to today's uh, session and in this session we are going to describe uh, a very important procedure uh, when you are using any ISV solution at some time you are not renewing the license or you want to basically reorganize your uh, source code uh, so for that you uh, need to remove certain modules from your uh, deployed package on uh, sandbox as well as on the uh, production environment for d 5 for that you need to basically remove the package from uh, your uh, uh, development uh, box and uh, for that there is a, a procedure how to how to go about this if you don't follow the procedure then the sandbox uh, the deployment on sandbox for your deployable package will not be allowed and it will show warning or error message that uh, because you are removing existing model so it, it is not allowed so in that case what we have to follow i will just describe in this video so first of all uh, we will uh, just open the visual studio environment and we will uh, be removing all the references to the models uh, or in the package which we are going to basically uh, remove for that uh, we will just open the visual studio environment and uh, in this example basically uh, i will go to the model management and go to update model parameters so i am going to remove uh, two models here uh, that is pkr model 2 and pkr model 3 as an example because i don't need this anymore and maybe this is an isv solution so i want to remove this so you can uh, go to development box and uh, aos service and packages local directory there are also powershell command which you can follow on microsoft uh, uh, documentation but here i'm uh, just uh, giving you an uh, a very straightforward example and packages local directory all the models are available as a folders so these two models i i do not require anymore so you can uh, think that one of the folder is uh, a model uh, given by our isv which we have not renewed the license for that we need to remove this and the other one because i have uh, reshuffled my source code so i don't need any more this one so why it should be on the sandbox as well as on production environment so both of these folders should be removed from the packages local directly before you can build the deployable package for that you can remove directly uh, from here shift and delete so it will be removed but what about any references uh, of other mod models which are uh, uh, referring to these models so for that uh, you need to go and first of all select the basic model which is referring to the other model so in my case this is the model and this model is basically referring to the pkr uh, model so for that i will uh, remove the references so these are two references so i must remove these references so that if i remove folders so there should be no orphan references or uh, reference uh, x references so i will just complete so this need to be followed for any other models which are referring to this uh, uh, these two models so just now i have completed this in visual studio and then i will go ahead and uh, delete this before deleting you can back up uh, as per your uh, safety procedures so for now i will uh, delete this okay continue and it is now deleted now you will basically create a deployable package that is available in visual studio you can go to extension and you can create a deployable packages uh, so after selecting these models uh, you can give a folder where a deployable package will be created click ok and create so once the deployable package is created for example this is your deployable package what you need to do just uh, you can go to the to by creating another folder uh, you can make it name as temp ok copy the deployable package there now you need to extract this package here so you will just extract your package here and go to the aos service and go to the scripts uh, folder here you need to create a text file okay uh, this text file name should be uh, module to remo uh, remove remove.txt this file should be the name of this 
uh, newly created file module to remove and then inside the inside this file you are going to uh, basically put the names of the modules which need to be removed the names of the models like this and i will save this file temporary folder uh, so this is the uh, this is the folder where in the scripts folder so this is the file module to remove in this file i have put the on each separate line the names of the models so that's it and then you can again uh, make a zip file of this package so for that just select all the files and uh, go to add to archive and make a zip file uh, click ok okay so this is your new uh, zip file which is uh, now uh, ready to remove uh, the model so just replace and just upload this to lcs and deploy to your sandbox so this time the error or warning will be not shown and the modules which are not no more needed or unnecessary will be removed by by the uh, deployable package and the pros process will which will take place on the sandbox once it is uh, available on the sandbox then you can deploy uh, as a release to, uh, release candidate to the production so that's it this is the process how to remove uh, the models and uh, this is normally needed uh, when uh, when you no more uh, are renewing any isv solutions uh, or there is a unnecessary model and the code is unnecessary there and you have reshuffled already or reorganized or refactored your source code and uh, some of the modules are orphan or they are no more required so this process need to be followed in that case i hope this will be of use for some of the technical consultants or developers who are working on dynamics 365 apps development and uh, uh, thank you very much and if you have any questions just let me know